Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we have a little bit of more information because um, there's a lot of question concerning the uh, the encryption with uh, BitLocker that Microsoft wants to enforce on 24H2 actually as an experiment it could be interesting to try because since this is an insider ring Windows 11, that is uh, 24H2, it technically would uh, be one of those that would go into uh, encryption mode with BitLocker if I would reset the PC. So, uh, of course, a lot of questions is there's absolutely no way to prevent this and so on. Uh, first of all, if you have a unsupported PC, uh, the BitLocker encryption is not going to happen, um, especially if you have no TPM or TPM. Um, it, it requires TPM 1.2, so technically it could still encrypt, but I think if you're unsupported, um, anybody that goes to 24H2 from an unsupported machine will not have any BitLocker encryption happen. Uh, the second thing about it is there are ways around it with one is a... Um, registry key that can be added to Windows, which means that when it will go do it, it's going to not do it because the registry key is going to say, nope, no encryption. Uh, the other one is, of course, with Rufus, you can create a, a media, a bootable media on USB thumb drive, and there you'll be able to choose with Rufus an option that says no uh, BitLocker encryption. That will prevent it. But if you ever fall into a BitLocker encryption, if you did a um, you know clean install or, or some kind of PC reset or you install from scratch and you end up with a encrypted drive, well, once you are installed in your PC with the drive encryption done, uh, you'll be able to go into the BitLocker options and say, "I don't want BitLocker." So, what's gonna you're gonna be able to click the "Turn Off BitLocker" or "Turn BitLocker Off" option, and what's gonna do? It's gonna just ask you for the key that was created, and it will revert the changes. Your drive will be back to normal, and um, it's uh, going to be okay afterwards. But you know, it's it's kind of a hassle and. Basically, it's just kind of giving you a second step that you don't need to have. Um, so lots of, <laughs> of, of uh, questions out there. Uh, some of you have been mentioning, uh, are they doing BitLocker encryption so that everybody has to go to a, a Microsoft account? Um, you know, anything is possible. Um, I think it's a bad idea. still think they should revert that decision. I've seen a lot of people saying I can imagine the number of people losing their data because they don't have the key and they can't, you know, they can't get anything back. Um, and I could also see that, especially if a PC crash and all of that, it could be, um, you know, kind of delicate uh, situation for many people. But definitely it's, it's a bad uh, decision. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.